Uh, Tommy Strauss of Seals Grove, a second period followed by Jace Ham of Milton in that match you just talked about. Quinn Keister of Milton on top, 12 to one. Luke Smith turned him in the third period and pinned him. And that's how we got here at 41 to six. Let's add another uh, six onto that and make it 47 to six with a uh, fall in 154 by parity. A one-of-a-kind experience that you will want to relive time and time again. Isabella Restaurant and Cocktail Lounge. Their team painstakingly focuses on every detail to ensure that every aspect of your experience is truly breathtaking. Whether it's a date night, special occasion, private events, both big and small. From beginning to end, Isabella Restaurant and Cocktail Lounge offers a truly remarkable experience that you and your loved ones will cherish forever. Isabella Restaurant and Cocktail Lounge, Sealands Grove. Aiden Kaiser, a junior for the Black Panthers. And right now it is Seals Grove's Gobbler jumping out to a quick five point lead. Now he's got him again here. Hit the uh, hit the roll through uh, tilt there and racking up the points here pretty quick. Gockler had a good season last year. Let's see where he was. Uh, really been impressed with the way he's wrestled so far this season. He's looked tough. Yeah. Let's see here. 2021. He was maybe 30 and six. Uh, so like I said, he had a good season last year, but. Boy, you know, it's hard to say that a kid that was 30 and 6 last year may be your most improved wrestler, but boy, I'll tell you what, he has looked good here in the early part of the season. Yes, he has. <laughs> Tough kid, too. Yeah. His boyish looks betray his toughness on the mat. <laughs> He's a, a very, uh, very innocent look when he goes out there, but boy, oh boy, he, you don't want to mess with him. Wasn't able to get anything with that cradle. I think they're holding, yep, there we go, we got three there. Yep, 14 nothing. And this is gonna do it here. Yeah, because I don't think he's gonna pin him there. I've seen <laughs> a couple times this happened. But yeah, yeah, well, that's true. But it's very rare. It's, that's not a typical pinning combination. That is a uh, get your tech fall combination. So we got a tech fall, 17 to nothing. For Gobbler, log that in. That was in two minutes and 55 seconds. Alrighty. Oh, so that was not Kaiser. Kaiser is wrestling for Seal or for the uh, Black Panthers. Now they did weigh in two wrestlers. I'm going to tell you who it is here in a second. All right, so that had to be Alex Parker that Goggler just pinned. Seems every week it's, it's always an ever-changing lineup here for us. Yeah. Foss has him on his back already. Looking for the fall. He gets it. Yeah, I'm going to say Kaiser, one of their better kids. 43 second fall. They're going to be clearing the gym here pretty soon. The seal is wasting no time whatsoever. Fifty eight. I have it at 59, but. Uh, that was a fall. Ah, that's right, okay, that's right. I think it was Miller last week that got the big upset, wasn't it? Uh, there were lots of them. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't just one, it was many. <laughs> but yes, he was one of them. Over Wolf hit the uh, yeah. cement job. Yep, that was 
That was key to the Seals' victory last week against the Braves. Ooh, nice little single there by, by Miller. Keep in mind, Miller just a freshman. And with the record of 12 and 6, yeah. off to a pretty good start for his high school career. Yeah, uh, he's another another young man that's been impressive. I oh, can't say for imp improvement from last year because I didn't see him last year, but yeah, just a freshman at these upper weights, it's, it's a tough road to hoe. Well, uh, helps him too, his brother, Stephen Miller, ranked number 9 right now in the state. He's got yeah. a workout partner every day if he wants. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure he's taking a couple of thrashings in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> no, Miller with a tough leg ride on the right side. Oh, he's putting himself yep. in trouble here. Yeah, That's illegal. Oh. Head well, let's see if he got it. Yep, he's going to get called on that. He had just the head, not a head in the arm. But on the other count, Miller needs to make sure he doesn't get overextended because the next time he may grab that arm. Sorry, Go he's uh, just saying he's getting high again here. He's got to yeah. watch himself, trying to headhunt here. Gets a leg in and, and then uses that leg turk, but it's not a real tight ride when he gets it in. No, which is surprising because he's got, you know, it's kind of figure four in the leg there. and Right here he's coming up through again, and I'm not sure how he's. Yeah, still pretty high, really. I mean, he's not got his leg sunk in deep because oh, he, he likes to use that turf. But now he comes to the opposite side. Gets a deep half in he there. He sure does. And that's all she wrote. One minute and 49 seconds of the first period. That should probably do it for the match with Keats coming up with the forfeit here. Well. 64, yep, they're going to put him out there to take the forfeit. 64 to 6. And with that forfeit, will be 70 to 6. The Seals mow down the Milton Black Panthers by the score of 70 to 6. Real quickly, let's uh, go back through the, uh, the results here as we have them. Uh, as we mentioned, Seals Grove coming in 12-1, ranked 21st in the state. They lost over the weekend to a tough Bald Eagle area squad. Bald Eagle area ranked uh, in double A, uh, and that uh, they beat the Seals, I think it was by about 10 uh, on Saturday. Uh, Milton in with a record of 8-5. and five. Um, So why don't you go ahead and go on down the, uh, the lineup the way it went. Now we started out with uh, Stephen Miller against Luke Raup, 2-15. Miller with the fall there at minute 40, controlled the match the whole way through. We moved on to uh, heavyweight with Seals over Elijah Easton against Milton's Nathan Rouch. I'll tell you, Nathan Rouch impressed me. Um, not too often you see heavyweights being able to move like he was yeah. able to, getting in there on shots and uh, kind of taking it to Easton there. And then we started back around the bottom of the weight classes with Landon Lukens against Noah, Noah Heinbach. Lukens getting the fall with one second left to go in the period. Kind of one of those, uh, I thought it was a nifty call, but still got it. Yeah. Um, went to 113. Uh, Nathan Martin against Tyler Stokes. Martin for the Seals with the fall in a minute 23. Moved on to Leo Martinez at, against Tyler Geiswood at 120. Uh, Martinez getting the tech fall, 17 to two. Then we moved on to 126. Ryan Gavison from Seals Grove got a forfeit. From there, Thomas Strauss against Jace Ham at 132. Strauss getting the fall, 451. 138, Luke Smith, Seals Grove, Quinn, Quinn Keister of uh, Milton. Keister's up 12-1. Luke Smith came back, was able to roll him, uh, Keister over and get the fall, 435. Moved on to 145, Garrett Parody versus Alex DeHart. Parody for the Seals getting another fall for him at 154. And from there, Seals have kept rolling. Aiden Gogler for the Seals, ranked number 17 in the state with a tech fall over Alex Parker, uh, 17 to nothing. At 160, Jos Josiah Foss for the Seals gets a 43 second pin against Aiden Kaiser. 
At 172, Ethan Miller pinned Mason Rowe in a minute 49, and Tucker Teets uh, finished the match with a forfeit. So the Seals with a 70 to six win. They come back in two days, Thursday night. They'll be here to take on the Mifflinburg Wildcats. Mifflinburg with uh, a rather abbreviated team, unfortunately. Um, so we may see the same kind of results, but you know what? I think you could bring a team in here with all the weights filled, and Seals is gonna do the same thing. I mean, these Milton kids, I mean, they came in at eight and five. They were not a bad team, but boy, oh boy, that you know, even even their good kids just got blown out. Yeah, it seems that Seals goes kind of, you know, from the first time that we, you know, talked about them against uh, who was it, Jersey Shore, and Jersey Shore had five kids. Jersey Shore went in four out of the five. Yeah. Seals was kind of turning around here yeah. and kind of put the pedal to the metal and started, uh, you know, steamrolling some of these teams here. Well, needless to say, after that. Uh, that match, uh, Coach Seth Martin was not real pleased with his charges. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, he was not. <laughs> As you would not be. You know, you come in here with a team with not with not a lot of numbers. You know, you got to look. You got to make little goals, and their goal was to win on the mat, which they did. And uh, Seth didn't like that. <laughs> no, he did not. Uh, you know, but hey, the tough wrestlers, just like tonight. You know, Milton kids. A couple matches could have gone either way. I mean, you know, when you're up 12 to one. You think you're uh, coasting there, and then all of a sudden, you know, anything can happen in this sport. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. It isn't uh, It isn't like uh, you can't score 30 points in the fourth quarter. You could turn <laughs> a kid over and pin him real quick, and all of a sudden you're back into it. So, exactly. Well, again, we apologize for the abbreviated nature of this. We had a whole bunch of technical issues. So hopefully we'll get those figured out for our match here on Thursday night, but we hope you enjoyed the uh, matches we were able to bring to you here from Seals Grove High School, where again the final score, Seals Grove 70 and Milton 6. You want to join us again on Thursday when the Seals take on the Mifflinburg Wildcats. For our crew here, Ash Cole and Emily Fry on camera, and Tony Fino, our technical director, and my sidekick here, Spencer Myers. This is Steve Williams, and you've been watching Seals Grove Seals Wrestling on the SBC Sports Live YouTube channel. Good night. We got five platinums. Mechanicsburg, Lancaster, we got five Platinums. Harrisburg, Carlisle, we got five Platinums. Yes, we open Sealands Grove, we got five Platinums. And you know we get you done. There is absolutely no better time to sell or trade your vehicle. Visit us at one of our five locations or creditpa.com. Platinum, baby. At Murray Motors Chevrolet, they want you to think fast. Murray Motors Chevrolet, synonymous for great customer care and service, now has a huge inventory of sports cars. That's right, sports cars. Find all makes and all models on the lot at Murray Motors Chevrolet in Sealands Grove. When you have that need for speed, there's only one stop. Murray Motors Chevrolet, Sealands Grove, and online at murraychevy.com. 1,300 acres of prime hunting ground. Corporate hunts, sporting clays, continental shoots. Complete your visit with overnight accommodations now available. We are Martz's Gap View Hunting Preserve. Come let us start your family traditions here at Martz's. Come check us out. Quality ringneck pheasant hunting. Martz's.com. A new year brings new savings and 1.9% financing on these select vehicles at Sunbury Motors Ford. You'll appreciate the safety and technology features as well as the savings on this 21 Ford F-150. Enjoy intelligent access with push-button start and the 1.9% financing on this 21 Ford Escape. Experience a high-value modern machine with its LED signature lighting when driving this 22 Ford Explorer. With our lowest price promise, SMC is where you want to be for your new Ford F-150. New year, new traditions, and all new models here at WNL Subaru. Start those new family traditions in a third row Subaru Ascent with the best symmetrical all-wheel drive system and up to 27 miles per gallon.
or get off the beaten path in the all new 2022 Subaru Forester Wilderness Edition. With even greater ground clearance and upgraded interior and exterior features to handle any adventure. See us off Route 11 in Northumberland and online at wnlsubaru.com.